Okay, guys, we have one headline, and one headline only. Um, this is the live update going on right now on Times of Israel. After meeting with Netanyahu, Trump sits down with Gantz. U.S. President announces his long-awaited peace plan will be revealed Tuesday, but says that without the Palestinians, we won't do the deal. And i got to wonder what they're going to do to get the Palestinians. i got to wonder what Netanyahu's going to do to get the Palestinians. Um, four minutes ago, the update was Netanyahu Trump meeting was excellent, focused on Iran, Israeli official. Thirteen minutes ago, the update was Trump and Gantz begin their meeting. So it was short meeting, evidently. Uh, Prince Andrew uncooperative and Jeffrey Epstein program. Okay, so. Uh, there's no telling where this is going to go. Me and Lisa, Watchwoman65, were just talking. Uh, if the whole thing about this is, and what's going to be kind of screwy about this, is that if they do this, this is going to get Netanyahu, uh, give him the authority and the ability to annex uh, all the other property, uh, the West Bank. The thing is, they're fighting them on that a lot. The Palestinians want that want that region. If they annex that, that takes their control away of that area, and the Palest or the uh, Israelis will have control of that area. Um, obviously, that's what their goal is. They want to have control of their land, but. I don't know, something's weird about this, because if they push this and get this signed, what, what is it, they, they gave Netanyahu and Gantz six weeks to get it implemented. During that six weeks, that could be the big time when everything goes haywire. I really, honestly, and I don't know anything, I'm just a guy in his living room, um, I feel like once this is done, uh, it's probably going to kick off war. Uh, don't know what war, but it's probably going to kick off war. And guys, I keep going back to Daniel 8, thinking that, that it says that goat is Greece. It's not really Greece. It's America. Um, I know it sounds weird, but it sure feels like it. And a lot of things are matching up. I'll tell you one thing. If suddenly you see America send a big airstrike over to Iran to wipe them out, you'll know, you'll know that, that, that Daniel 8 was about that. Now, how does this pertain, what does this pertain to us, and what does this pertain to the rapture of the church? Well, if this is happening, and we know these events are signaling the beginning of a particular seven-year time frame, we can't be far off from it. I mean, like, like, <laughs> turn the corner, there it is. Like, don't make any plans, because it's that close. I mean... What else can what else what other conclusion can we come up to? Now, obviously, we don't stop living. We're going to keep doing everything that we're doing every day. But this is very big, and this is like out there. Um, I did the the message video. I've set it to unlisted because I'm not 100 percent sure. I'm not 100 percent sure about it yet. But uh, wow, this is something. Um, that Yahoo Trump meeting was excellent, focused on Iran. That's interesting that it's focused on Iran. With the, in, with the light of what's going on, that's interesting. That's the focus of Iran. Because obviously the Daniel A. prophecy, when you guys watch the videos that I did in there, the, the interpretation is in there. It says it twice, it's for the end times. And we go back and look in history, it hasn't happened yet. So, guys... This is it. Netanyahu's White House meeting with Trump was excellent, according to a member of his official entourage to Washington. The leader spoke about the peace deal that will be presented tomorrow. So they have a hard date for this. Now, something could change, but what I find ironic is that we get into January of 2020 and look at all these things they're pushing forward. Hey, we got to hurry up and get this done. Why is there a sudden urgency to get this done? Something changed. Uh, a switch has flipped or something. The most of the meeting centered on Iran, the officials say. Trump and Netanyahu discussed the need to stop Iranian aggression, as well as about Iran's efforts to go nuclear and about the need to continue the pressure on all fronts. Daniel 8. And they just fired three rockets at that embassy in Iraq and hit it. Killed, killed quite a few people, evidently. 
They also talked about regional opportunities that arose in the aftermath of the U.S. assassination of senior Iranian commander Qasem Soleimani. Guys, if you read the Daniel 8, I know I keep harping on this, but if you read the Daniel 8 prophecy, it's got two notable horns, one bigger than the other, but the bigger one came after the fact. That's the leader that's still alive. Soleimani, uh, we took out. He was the second guy. I don't know. To me, it's fitting. Furthermore, the Prime Minister spoke to the President about the need to fight against the International Criminal Court's attempt to prosecute Israel, the officials say. They want to take down the UN. So that was just that was the most recent update. Uh, Trump and Gantz begin their meeting. Trump and Gantz begin their meeting in the White House after the U.S. President concludes his sit-down with Netanyahu. We have Prince Andrew. I don't even know why that's on there. I don't know, maybe restricted part of their meaning. Okay, without, this is one hour ago, without the Palestinians, we won't do the deal, Trump says. Standing alongside Netanyahu, Trump says his peace plan, already rejected by the Palestinians, has a chance and will be unveiled tomorrow at noon local time. Here's our hard time. Now, of course, this could change, but guys, that's like a close hard time. Trump predicts that the Palestinians will ultimately come around to giving their support. Something's up. They're doing something. He adds that without Palestinians, we won't do the deal, and that's okay without elaborating. I told you guys before, these men are on record as saying they know exactly what's going on with Bible prophecy, and they know they're part of fulfilling it. If they are aware of this stuff and what's happening, how many religious advisors are surrounding these guys? What does this tell us? He adds that without the Palestinians, we won't do the deal, and that's okay. I find that interesting, and that's okay. Something is up. Unsourced Israeli reports in recent days says, said that should the Palestinians persist in rejecting the deal, Israel will eventually be given a go-ahead from the U.S. to begin unilateral steps, including the annexation of parts of the West Bank. So they don't, they want them, but they don't care if they don't have them. It, they're going to do it anyway. This is going to start a war. Trump also says that the plan has the support of all the parties in Israel, possibly alluding to the opposition Blue and White Party, whose leader, Benny Gantz, he will meet after he concludes his sit-down with Netanyahu, which is happening, or has happened. Two hours ago, standing next to Netanyahu, Trump says he'll announce his peace plan tomorrow. Addressing the press, Trump says that his much-anticipated peace plan will be released tomorrow, refusing to give any details about its parameters. Netanyahu reiterates that he hopes to make history on Tuesday together with the American leader. The Prime Minister also thanks Trump for his support of Israel and for increasing pressure on Iran. Why is this such a hot topic of Iran? Daniel 8. I think we're about to see Daniel 8 fulfilled. Okay. If that happens, Damascus will get taken out because a bunch of Iranian troops are there. They're going to sweep across that and it's going to fulfill several prophecies at one time. I find that interesting. Listen, why is this so important? And I was just talking to Lisa about this too. Why is this so important? There, have, Since 1948, there have been 15 peace deals in various forms presented. Now, some accords have been approved, but no peace deal has ever been fully approved until the one we see right now. That's historic and prophetic because we know somebody is going to confirm or make stronger a peace deal, Right? Um, in 1900 years there has never been anything like this in Israel 1900 years when non-believers and people that have no knowledge of this stuff going on start talking to their friends saying something's wrong I feel it that ought to tell us something something's wrong something's about to change we're about to see a big flip of a switch Okay, so let's go back up here. Let's see if there's any new updates. Come on. Okay, it doesn't want to update, so we'll back out, and we'll go back in there.
Nope, yep, 18 minutes ago. So they're still talking and nobody's got a new update for that. So, uh, this is big, 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 big. There's a lot of stuff happening and we can go to the Bible and look at it. Islamic State announces new phase of attacks mainly targeting Israel. Yeah, that's a, a big call to attack Israel has come up. What happens in the Bible? They, they attack back and wipe them out. It's going to be Iran, guys. Okay. So you know they're going to push hardcore to get this done. They're going to push as hard as they can to get this pushed through. This is big. I was up almost all night last night looking at this stuff. Okay, guys. Well, uh, if there's any new updates that come up, i got to take off and go do a couple of tasks. But if there's any new updates, I'll jump in. Uh, on my cell phone and I'll give you the guys I'll be checking the news all day to see what goes on but just looking at what's happening I see a ton of things unfolding all at once they're gonna pass this and within a few days you're gonna see a whole bunch of things happen all at one time around the world namely involving the Middle East over there and us um, that's gonna tell the tale and if they got six weeks to get this done how perfect of a time frame is that to make stronger, confirm and make stronger. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not good at this stuff, but uh, it sure is interesting. All right. Love you guys. I'll see you in the next one.